So um, I just want to start off by introducing myself. My name is Gerard, and there's um, I'm one of the uh, ambassadors for Hedera Hashgraph, and I'll I'll be going into detail more more in the future with that. But um, uh, so if people just can grab some pizza and come up to the front, that'd be great. And then um, and then if you guys have to leave for any reason early. If you guys can just follow the same way that you guys came in. Okay. Dr. Patrick Byrne. Oh, you run? Yeah. Do you for a moment? I'll be first. Just give me a moment to welcome you. Uh, I'll tell you, I didn't know that you were going to be here, but I saw Hashgraph. I've got it, I've, uh, just a few months ago, I learned about Hashgraph and hash trees. I'm told that Hashgraph is, well, I thought it was blockchain 2.0. This guy told me it's blockchain. So uh, it sounds like, I mean, I don't know which end of the hash tree to plug into my TCP ID. I don't know how to count it. But uh, I know people who do. Uh, they tell me, for a few months, I've been, I've been like, asking around about this because I just hear it's a real breakthrough. All right. Thank you, team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a really treat to have him here. So, um, Again, thank you. Thank you for having us here. I also want to recognize Scott. Scott, can you stand up really quick? So Scott, he's, he's the guy. Hi, Scott. Um, so Scott's the guy that put this all together. And he, I mean, there's a lot of little details that go into this. And I'm, I'm really thankful for Scott. He's, uh, he's an ambassador as well. And he, he put in some time for this. So I really appreciate it. So um, I just I, I'm going to give a brief introduction about myself. Um, I'm a civil engineer by trade, and I work up in Alaska for an oil company. And my my specialty is uh, building ice roads. So it's kind of crazy that how I got caught up in this in this industry, and and. And I'm, I'm very simple-minded when it comes to the tech industry, but tonight we're gonna have a special like meetup because it's gonna be more for the development, more the, the, um, the application of Hedera Hashgraph. So just out of curiosity, how many developers do we have in here? Okay. And then how many people that are just in the crypto world? That, that are just in, interested in this. Okay, great. Both, Both? yeah. So I, so when I when I first got into Hedera Hashgraph, I was actually with my friend in Bitcoin, and and I hated the transfer fees and how slow it was. And he he was the one that that pressured me to buy Bitcoin, and so I, I knew that there had to be something else out there. And I also invest in um, precious metals. So I follow Mike Maloney. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of him. <laughs> yep. He does the secret of uh, value of money or something like that. He did the secrets of money. Yep, yep. And so I, he mentioned, he actually had an interview here with the CEO of um, Overstock. With, um, yeah. And uh, he, mentioned Hedera, well, Hashgraph at the time. And so I, I, I really went in head first into Hashgraph, dug it up, saw what was what it was all about, and then I, I, I looked into Lehman, who was the founder of uh, Hashgraph, and he, he was talking way over my head about the possibilities of Hashgraph. And I, I like to, to watch um, TED Talks, so to me it was like almost like a TED Talk listening to him, the, the abilities and the future of Hashgraph and where, where it can go. So if you guys have a, a chance to listen to Lehman Baird, he's, he's, he's fascinating, he's very animated, and he's great to listen to. So I, I, I would uh, recommend to you guys listening to him. But um, so the more I got involved, I met I met Kyle. He he's a representative of Hashgraph, and and I flew out to Chicago and met with him. And and the the rest.
rest is history. But the, the thing that I like about Hashgraph is, as, as, as it said, it's fourth generation ledger, um, ledger. And it's um, the, the great thing about it, it's it, right now it's a, on a permission, um, private permission scale only. But it, the vision that Lehman has is for everyone. So, I mean, just, just the possibilities that I like about it is that, like, in today's world, there's a lot of people that try to take advantage of people being the middle name. And I don't know if any of you have heard about the Byzantine fault tolerance and how, it, how everyone knows everything at the same time. And that's what Hashgraph has, has uh, accomplished. And it's something new in the, in, the, in the tech world. And it's done through gossip with Grosso. And, and with that said, um, we're actually going to have some key note speakers today. I don't know if you guys follow the gossip guy on YouTube, but he flew in from New York. And we're going to have an opportunity to listen to him about some upcoming projects that are built on the uh, Hedera Hashgraph platform. And then we will also have an opportunity to listen to Kent Anderson. He's the lead um, advisor of, for the development of, um, of Hedera Hashgraph as well. So after that, we're going to have a great like question and answers. So many of you that have um, a development background, this will be a great guy to ask your questions to. And uh, he, hopefully, he'll be able to uh, like set up the Hedera Hashgraph uh, gossip. And I, I'm not very familiar with it, but it was great to see it, an actual run of it. And it, it, you guys are in for a great treat. So I'm going to pass over the time to the gossip guy. And right. everyone give a round of applause for the Real quickly here too, I know Gerard, uh, you know, had uh, asked, you know, who here is developers, but also, more importantly, who here has heard of Hashgraph, and I guess like who here is familiar with it? Okay, so uh, relatively mixed, because um, I know just one thing is like this topic is uh, tonight's uh, agenda is going to get in a little bit of details, um, so we're going to kind of brush past some of the background information, uh, but obviously there's a lot of good resources um, out there um, on the internet. Um, that can give you some, some further depth of um, information regarding it. And uh, just as an introduction, um, my name is Billy. Um, however, many within the uh, Hashgraph community know me as the Gossip Guy. Uh, I'm the creator of a Hashgraph-focused YouTube channel um, that is focused on just providing uh, uh, news, updates, and education regarding uh, the growing ecosystem being um, built around Hashgraph. Um, if you're curious by any chance, the, the name Gossip Guy um, comes from the Gossip About Gossip Protocol, um, as Sherrod had mentioned, um, that powers Hashgraph. And then uh, Gossip Guy, um, if anyone's familiar, there's a TV show called The Gossip Girl, kind of geared towards uh, teenage girls, but uh, um, it's based in New York City. I'm also from New York City, um, and at the time, my girlfriend was also binge watching um, you know, the show on Netflix when I was coming up with the idea for the channel. Um, so I thought Gossip Guy would be, uh, you know, kind of clever. And uh, small disclosure here too: uh, I don't work for Hedera Hashgraph. I'm just a uh, community member, just like the rest of you guys, that's just really interested in this stuff and looking to uh, even jellicalize this. So tonight's topic is who's using Hashgraph, and tonight we want to take a focus. I mean, we want to take a look at the types of projects that have emerged as um, um, using. Uh, Hashgraph, both in the private and also the public ledger um, uh, environments. So I know we're not going to get into too much details regarding the background of Hashgraph, but just real quickly here, I just wanted to break things out here, because one thing that's kind of fundamental is Hashgraph is just the consensus um, algorithm um, and also the data structure. Um, it was originally developed by a company called Swirls, and it's also patented which is obviously a hot topic within the community. Um, there's a, we won't go into too much details on that, um, but the idea is that they just are patented it because they're gonna ultimately provide it to Hedera Hashgraph, which is the public ledger, and that's patent is in place to prevent you know, forks from happening of the, of the ledger. Uh, 
Got a first question here, so. May I ask a question? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Can you put that in the English program? Oh, okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's just break this down. Okay. So the underlying technology that is going to power the distributed ledger, um, you know, the ledger, like the, 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 um, the thing that you can build applications on top of, um, the mechanism for ensuring trust and ensuring consensus is, is achieved is known as Hashgraph. And also, it provides a data structure of how you know data is dispersed um, amongst other computers and how it's ultimately like laid out and within the ledger. Hashgraph has then moved into Hedera Hashgraph, which is a public ledger that is um, ultimately going to be what you guys are familiar if you're familiar with Ethereum or blockchain or EOS. Um, that's the public ledger version of, of Hashgraph. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Hedera Hashgraph is the public ledger version of that. And basically, it is a open record for people to, you know, go into, um, you know, they can build applications on top of it. And um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, the main point here is that Hedera Hashgraph enables and empowers developers to build an entire new class of uh, distributed applications given some of the properties that are inherent to Hashgraph and that thus in turn um, appear on Hedera Hashgraph, the public ledger. So what are you replacing in the market? So this would be, um, I gotta be careful to say replacing because in my personal mind, um, I think that this is, a lot of these th projects are coexisting, but this would be an alternative to, um, in many ways, blockchain. So blockchain is the technology that powers a lot of these um, popular um, distributed ledgers, so Bitcoin, Ethereum, and whatnot. So, um, so just want to break this down. Hashgraph, Hedera Hashgraph. Um, another thing to note too is that Hashgraph was originally introduced in a private permissioned environment. So meaning, you know, you'd have to sign up in order to gain access to it, and then it was closed off to, um, um, you know, the users um, of it. Whereas Hedera Hashgraph is going to be public. It's going to be open to anyone and everyone who wants to, wants to use it. Um, you know, as long as you have access to a node that will get you into the network, you can use it. All right. So maybe this also might help visualize, too, what we were talking about um, with uh, Hashgraph. Um, this is just an overview of the Hedera Hashgraph platform. And before we get into any topics of around, um, you know, the projects that are developing on this, I wanted to just give this as a visual because this will help give some context on where each project is kind of sitting in the, um, in the platform. And I'll just kind of quickly go over here. Whoops, can you hear me? Perfect. Also, uh, another note too, we have Ken Anderson, the lead developer advocate from um, Hashgraph that's gonna be on afterwards. So if there's anything that I say that's inaccurate or if there's any level of details I, I miss, thank goodness we have Ken on because he'll basically fill in any of those gaps. Um, but I'm gonna try to do my best to try to explain this. And, and hopefully if I do a good job, I'll get you guys to subscribe to my channel. But, uh, but this to help um, visualize what we were talking about before, we have the internet, right? And then the Hashgraph consensus will sit on top of that. And then on top of the Hashgraph consensus will be these three different types of features um, being built on top of the, um, the platform as a whole. And that's basically a cryptocurrency. So Hashgraph will have a native cryptocurrency there's the ability to have file storage on the, on the network to, in a distributed uh, manner. So, you know, rather than having to use a Dropbox or, or, you know, other types of file storage platforms, you'll be able to store files directly onto the public ledger. And then another feature of Hedera Hashgraph is a uh, Solidity smart contracts engine. Um, basically, they're taking the Ethereum virtual machine and building it on top of um, Hashgraph. And one might ask, you know, wait, if this is going to be a competitor to Ethereum, why would you use the Ethereum virtual machine um, and use that as your mechanism for, for, for smart contracts? Well, the point is that Solidity is one of the leading languages for um, uh, smart contracts. So rather than reinventing the wheel, the team wanted to, you know, use this as a starting point to get people, you know, able to easily transition over to their platform. But one thing to note, and maybe this might be a little bit of gossip, um, they do have plans to eventually develop um, smart contract engines in other programming languages. So if anyone here is, just out of show of hands, has anyone 
program with the Solidity or, or, or worked with it? Okay, so you guys are all probably familiar. There are some inherent limitations with, uh, with it. Unfortunately, because they're going to be implementing Solidity onto their platform, I'm pretty sure that those uh, limitations will also um, be in place on, on Hashgraph. But the idea is that they're going to implement another uh, smart contract engine that will take advantage of the, um, some of the properties of the Hashgraph consensus algorithm. Okay, so I just wanted to show this here because then the next step here is then you can build distributed applications on top of it. And each of these um, projects that we're going to cover sit between different um, components of the, uh, uh, of the their Hashgraph platform. All right. Apologies in advance here if this is a little bit like uh, too detailed, uh, too granular. We're going to kind of bounce around between each of them. Um, my goal was to also have something in a summary format that we could share and people could go um, to that, but uh, we'll just run through this. So this is basically an overview of all the projects that have been publicly announced so far, announcing their, their usage of um, Hashgraph, either in the public um, you know, instance, you know, i.e. Hedera Hashgraph, or in a private um, um, environment. Um, so we have them kind of like mixed here. Um, and they're pretty, you know, diverse as far as like, you know, the type of uh, use cases that they're trying to address and also the industries that they're, they're operating in. Um, and, uh, you know, they range from, you know, the typical startup to, you know, some traditional companies that are looking to, uh, um, you know, implement Hashgraph into their existing like tech, uh, tech stacks. So we'll kind of go through this list, and if anyone has any questions on on, on the projects, um, maybe we'll we'll take a moment to uh, um, go into a little more detail here. Um, so first off, we have Artbit. So anyone uh, here a Guns and Roses fan? Uh, I'm sorry, anyone here a Guns and Roses fan? Okay, no, no, okay, kind of okay. The, the co-founder of this project is uh, Matt Sorum, the uh, uh, drummer from uh, Guns N' Roses. I guess he, since he left uh, uh, the music industry, he's gotten into tech entrepreneurship. So what this is, is it's a artist uh, recognition platform. Um, so basically allowing for artists to, you know, you know, flag their content and then be able to receive, you know, compensation from the usage of, the, of their particular content. And essentially, they're planning to build their entire platform on top of their Hashgraph. So taking advantage of the, you know, potentially the file storage elements and then also the um, smart contract features of, of Hashgraph. Next up, we have Carbon. Carbon is basically a price-stable cryptocurrency, um, i.e. a stable coin. Um, so if anyone's not familiar, stable coins right now happen to be an area of uh, a lot of focus within the crypto community. And uh, there's a push right now for a lot of these um, stable coins to, uh, um, you know, get, um, you know, adoption. And uh, the reason why stable coins are, are, are particularly interesting is that, you know, the idea is that they're one-to-one -one back with, you know, fiat currency, so they can be used as a, a payment mechanism. Um, Carbon is essentially looking to launch their stable coin on top of um, Hashgraph. And also, too, um, they're looking to build out some other kind of, um, um, uh, you, you know, uh, programmability um, into their uh, uh, platform, you know, into their, their uh, stable coin um, so that will hopefully, you know, further, uh, um, you know, payments uh, um, using their, their token. Um, the next one we have here, this is uh, CU Ledger, and this actually happens to be the first project that was announced um, using uh, Hedera Hashgraph. Um, essentially what CU Ledger is, is that they're, um, just out of curiosity, anyone familiar with like R3Civ? An anyone? R R okay. <laughs> so uh, CU Ledger is essentially a consortium of a bunch of, of uh, credit unions in the United States looking to just basically develop distributed uh, technologies you know, for the benefit of their members. Um, so I mentioned R3 because that's uh, one that's being placed for, for some of the larger banks. And um, CU Ledger um, is essentially using uh, the Hashgraph private environment um, in, their, uh, uh, um, in their technical uh, stack. But also recently, too, they've announced that their plans to use Hedera Hashgraph, um, the public ledger for, for payments. So um, that's one interesting project, too. How am I doing on time, uh, Scott? Three minutes. Oh, three minutes. All right, so let's get down to this list. 
Antifa Health, uh, they're looking to do medical credentialing, um, basically all, launching it on top of uh, Hedera Hashgraph. Um, we also have Mingo. Um, Mingo is a chat aggregation application um, that you can actually uh, actually download the app um, today from, from Apple um, you know, uh, App Store and also the uh, uh, Android uh, um, or the Google Play Store. Um, but what they're also looking to do is launch their own cryptocurrency that will be used to power their, um, you know, their plug-in economy. Um, also, just a fun note too, Ken Anderson is the CTO for that um, project, so part of the other good reasons why we, um, we're having him uh, speak tonight is because he's actually one of the, uh, um, you know, he actually comes from this ecosystem directly. Uh, another interesting one, and I highly recommend you go check this out when you get a chance. Uh, so it's called Lit by Satori. Um, but it's ultimately um, developed by uh, Machine Zone or MZ, which is uh, the game studio behind uh, 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 Game of War and uh, uh, Mobile Strike. And I just recommend you go check this out because you have to see it for yourself. Uh, essentially, this is a live data processing platform and also AI mesh. So essentially, you know, if you were to build a botnet, this would be the mechanism of being able to aggregate it uh, entirely. And um, they're going to be using Hashgraph as the main consensus mechanism onto their platform, and that also helps them enable, um, basically enables them to no longer have to use uh, um, a bunch of uh, servers that were previously powering their Satori platform. Um, we have Swirls here. Like I mentioned at the top of it, this is the company that had invented Hashgraph. They're also providing um, you know, an indefinable indef license to Hedera Hashgraph to use. Um, so we just want to point them out because they are technically a part of the, the ecosystem. We have VMS Software, who's um, the makers of OpenVMS, um, you know, basically one of the popular um, open source, uh, uh, you know, operating systems um, out there. They're looking to build Hashgraph directly into their technical stack. And then, um, be real quick here, we have uh, Winflow. Um, Winflow is a sports betting platform um, being built on uh, their Hashgraph. And um, if anyone's familiar, recently the U.S. Supreme Court um, had announced uh, that um, basically sports betting is legal in the United States and removed all prohibitions of it. And Winflow basically is hoping to capture um, that new market that is presented not only in the U.S. but also like globally. And also they're one of the first kind of distributed ledger platforms uh, or distributed ledger um, sports books. And they also have a very unique um, reward structure where um, you know, profits are shared with uh, um, members on the, uh, the platform. And uh, the, basically the more activity that you do on the platform, the um, more that you can be rewarded. Um, basically their whole smart contracts that they're gonna have in place, all the smart contracts for, the, for, for, for betting is gonna be built on top of uh, their hash graph. And then we also have uh, Extreme Push. They're in the ad tech um, space. I have to admit, I haven't really gotten that much information specifically on what they're going to be doing. But we do know that they're planning on using Hashgraph and the consensus um, uh, that it provides to help identify and reject uh, fraudulent uh, you know, clicks on you know, advertisements. Uh, and then lastly here, um, I know this is kind of really quick because we're just being mindful of our time. No sooner did I pre prepare this slide, um, we just found out this week of two other projects um, that are being announced uh, on the uh, Hashgraph um, ecosystem. Um, one is called Track Invest, um, which is essentially a social-based, uh, um, uh, you know, equities exchange uh, platform, um, and they're basically looking to do some pr um, various initiatives with their Hashgraph. So almost kind of doing some partnership but also looking to maybe launch uh, components of their applications on top of their Hashgraph. And then there's also another company called CryptoTasks, which is essentially like a Fiverr or an Upwork um, for kind of like the crypto space for freelancers that's looking to launch their entire application. Um, it's already been launched. Um, I believe it's been on, it was launched on um, previously on Ethereum, but they're looking to move it over to uh, their Hashgraph. And, I, I didn't go into too much details too, but some of these projects also on this list were originally launched on Ethereum and then are now moving over to Hashgraph. So this covers the list of anyone that's been publicly announced using, um, you know, plans to be using uh, Hashgraph either in the private or public uh, environment. But I will let you know, um, 
as far as speaking with individuals in the community, there is a lot of plans for, for individuals to build more um, applications um, out there. So I'm, in the coming weeks and months, I'm sure we're gonna hear, uh, th this slide will only get bigger. Um, and also too, you know, one appeal of Hashgraph is, um, you know, it provides a suitable environment to build mission critical applications. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start to hear in the coming, this is probably more years ahead, um, but we start to hear enterprises beginning to launch um, applications on top of uh, Hashgraph. So I'm just gonna kind of wrap things up here. We can't also forget uh, some of the system integration partners that are also helping um, companies to um, basically use Hashgraph. So I just wanted to just throw these guys up here because these are all um, partners that are um, helping to, you know, helping people build uh, proof of concepts. So I don't know specifically what their, um, comp like their compensation arrangements are as far as what they would ask um, someone you know, for their services, but I do know that they're being, um, or so I've been told that they're being flexible in some of their arrangements as far as someone comes in with, a, with an idea, they're willing to work with them until you know, the idea gets up and running um, before they would ask for, for compensation. So I'm just throwing this out here because if anyone has an idea, these are some potential resources that are um, kind of emerging as uh, some subject matter experts um, in using Hashgraph. And um, just kind of um, wrapping things up here, also to mention before, right now there's a huge push. Um, so the Hedera Hashgraph platform is not fully launched. It won't be launched until the end of this year, but they're slowly opening up to um, you know, independent applications to come on. So all those companies were listed there. They've been invited on to, to use a platform and then we're gonna slowly see more people coming on, on board. So they're kind of doing it first come, first serve. Um, but then at the end of 2018, it will be completely open for anyone to, to you know, basically join and build their applications on top of it. And then, like I mentioned to you before, there's a good likelihood that we'll start to see enterprise applications be, begin to be developed on it um, and launching sometime around 2020. So as I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the, um, of the uh, presentation, uh, I have a YouTube channel focused on the uh, emerging Hedera Hashgraph ecosystem. So I just wanted to call out a couple of these videos because um, essentially we did a, a, a video um, covering about what are some of the basics that you need to do in order to kind of get set up with um, Hashgraph. This is not really um, technical in nature, it's more about just kind of procedurally what you would need to do to get set up and the resources that you have available. Um, so it's a kind of a good introductory, uh, introductory um, video. And then also I've done three videos with um, Carbon, uh, Mingo, and also Antiva if you're curious to hear more about what those projects are, are doing. And uh, lastly, um, I know we have Ken um, queued up, ready to go, but uh, um, I just wanna also kind of make a pitch uh, or make a plug for him too. There's also a lot of helpful resources coming directly from Hashgraph. There's uh, obviously the Hedera Hashgraph um, website. There's another site that's focused to developers. And then more importantly, there's a Discord chat basically a chat channel that is focused to the developer community. Um, and then that's really a, a great place to go if you have questions regarding the technology because either you get, um, you know, you can ask your questions and receive answers directly from the Hedera Hashgraph team, but also too, there's a lot of active community members that are there to um, also, uh, you know, answer the questions, um, you know, that one might have.